Alright y'all, Kilo Nails back with another video. So, you know, man, we in prep right now. We in prep. I think we're tank one on nine weeks out right now. Two years off. So man, get back on that platform and just do what I do, man. Just do what I love doing. We just getting out there, putting on a show and lifting heavy shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? But um this past week of training it wasn't too bad. It wasn't too bad. I was trying to feel like myself again, you know. On deadlifts, we did 688 for five. The weight's starting to get a little heavier mentally. Like, damn, I haven't done this shit in a while, but it's been clicking. It's been doing really well. So that 688 for five, check this shit out. Run Detroit to Buffalo, we let a smuggle blow. Soon as the pack landed, I let a couple go. Then she went back to New York, we burning up the pipe. We turning up the night, I just earned another strike. 90 East to 94, duck in the state patrol. I had to move safe and low, especially cause my face was known. Free all my hitters in the clink, just trying to make parole. I'ma still scrape the bone to the day you make it home. Place to pick, ain't it mom, get a brick, break it down, hit a lick, take it. So as you see that 688, it moved good. It wasn't too bad, it wasn't too much of a struggle. Anywho, we bust that down and we went to rack pools, right? And we think we did 815 for triples on rack pools. I love rack pools. And once I took them out of my program, like my deadlift went to shit, I ain't gonna lie. People can say what they want about rack pools, but I can say when it's in my program compared to when it's out, I see a big major difference on that top lockout. Just being patient and just being used to holding heavier loads at the top. I think it does wonders personally. It does wonders for my deadlift, so I recommend rack pools. I'm an advocate <laughs> for rack pools, all right? So check this out, 815 for the three piece. Take you down, take a city, rape a town. 80 big ones in the ceiling, tell that bitch don't make a sound. 80's baby still in prison, wish that I could break him out. Stood up and he made us proud, told him when I make it out, we ain't gonna have And after that, on my bench day, what did we do on bench? We did 425 for fives on bench. Now, my bad, I deleted that footage by accident, but if you wanna see that, check out my Instagram, at Kilo Nails, it's up there if you wanna see that shit. Now, on to squats. Squats got really interesting. Um, I've been using those Pioneer sleeves lately, and um, well, my last two squat sessions. Personally, I love them. I love them, you know? I was using Enzers, but I had them things for like three years, and they got a hole in the back, so I wanna try something different. So I tried the Pioneer sleeves. I like them, you know, I don't have the biggest calves, so they, they're tight on the calf, which I personally need. They're real tight on the quad. Really good sleeves, you know. But anywho, we went to 640, and I got a set of four with 640 on squats. And that felt really good. I believe that's a rep PR for sleeves. I feel like we're on track to get a really decent, a very respectable sleeve squat come May at regional, so. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for them. Ready to see where it can go and see where I can build them to. So, here it is. a 640 for the four piece. Check it out. Life no more, I found the safer route. I just shot a kite to bro, he put me on the paper route. Now we on the road, 36 O's wrapped up in paper towel. My witnesses show up in court, the judge, he had to weigh the trial. They say I got a more of a sense of humor, but that made me smile. Shout out to my shooter, when he drill you, that's a flag of foul. Just put in for his appeal, he told me it might take a while. Told him, make shit bust some time, just make sure that you make it count. And when you get back out, that bitch don't let these niggas take you out. Or trick you off the street again, these bitches out here chasing clout. Make sure you double count and give a fuck how long yeah. you take the count. I channel my thoughts, dope on my scale, hand on my fork, we hustle as price. Yeah, so, 640 for four. Let me bust that down and we got our paw squats in like always, you know, kept it light, you know, took the sleeves off, just went raw, no sleeves, no anything. Kept it light, 450 for a little sets of three on pauses. We're gonna stay in tight in the hole. When you're going up and coming down, just stay in tight the whole squat. That's what we're focusing on also. Paw squats are a necessity on squat day. Even if I don't get any down sets after my top set, I'm gonna break it down and get some paw squats in. I think those are needed. For sure, those are needed to build your squat up. So here it is, 450 on Paul squats. If y'all want a tutorial on Paul squats on here, let me know. All right, so one thing I wanted to kind of touch on and talk about is uh, teamwork. Teamwork in life, teamwork in business, teamwork in the gym, just period. 
it's times when we have things called, you know, super teams, when individuals are great at what they do. That individual person, that individual talent, they're great at what they do. And you try to merge that with other individual talent that's great at what they do. And sometimes that shit don't click. That shit don't work, you know what I'm saying? It's about knowing roles in your team and knowing roles in the atmosphere that you're in. You know what I'm saying? And knowing how to coexist with other people to make this shit work. Cause sometimes like shit just don't work. Personalities just don't work. So it's impossible to have that team atmosphere if the personalities just don't click and the personalities just don't work. And a part of that comes from just being honest with your situation. Whatever situation you're in, be honest about that and realize like, all right, is this situation here the best for me right now? Is this gonna push me and amplify me in the lane that I wanna be in? We gotta look at ourselves in the mirror and be honest with ourselves about that and we realize that. Cause if you don't, you're holding back that team and you're holding yourself team working. I've always been one of those people who, I wasn't really big on teams. It was all about me, me. I gotta handle this, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. Um, you know, the older I've gotten and the more wise I've gotten, I realize you need a team. You need a good quality team, not just any team, because teams can suck. But you need a good quality team with good quality people behind you that's gonna always have your back. Always have your back when you're doing certain things, when you're just period. Analyze the team around you and see, is that the team that I wanna be a part of? And what's my role on that team? And can I amplify this team? And is this team amplifying me? something to think about, you know what I'm saying? Just always sit back and really analyze what you have going on in life to make sure that that lane and that walk that you're walking in is your true lane and your true purpose that you should be walking in. You come to the table, come correct. That's with anything, just business, period. Just period, business, friendship, whatever. Always hold up your end and be a good teammate, all right? So, I don't wanna ramble. That's it. Kilo Nails. I'm not sure what episode this is, but I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> but thank y'all for tuning in. I'm gonna get back to my clients because I'm out here rambling. And it's a little cold out here in Georgia right now. It's kind of crazy. Like, we're in April when it's a little nippy out here and we're in Atlanta. It's, it's weird. But anyway, I'm gonna get back to work. Y'all be good. Like, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. All right, peace. Kilo after kilo, see who move the most. 200 foot yacht, she wanna see the coast.